I'm Glenn Watta. And I'm Drew Blocky, and the theme we're analyzing is guilt in mouse. So one of the main ways guilt is used in mouse is the survivor's guilt that Vladik has, that he survived the Holocaust and all the other Jews kind of died and didn't survive. And all, through a lot of the book, he casts this onto art and gives him these unreal expectations that he just can't live up to. One example is in chapter 5 on page 97 is when he says, someone asks Art, so are you going out to Queens? And he says, no way, I'd rather feel guilty. Besides, I'm too busy and he can easily afford to hire somebody. So he feels some guilt over helping his father, but his father's expectations are really unreal and it, Art can't really live up to them. And Art also has some of his own survivor's guilt just because his father went through such a hard time in the Holocaust, and he doesn't, he never had those hard times. And uh, also, another example of the survivor's guilt is in chapter 5 on page 126. And he says, Talking about your estate just makes me uncomfortable. And that's Art talking to Vladik. And in, in a simp, in sort of a weird way, Art just is a, uneasy with his father's estate and uh, he's concerned with his father's legacy and he still feels that guilt that he didn't go through the Holocaust like his father did. Another form of guilt is the guilt that Artie has for his mother's suicide. In chapter 5, page 103, uh, Artie says, Congratulations, you've committed the perfect crime. You put me here, shorted all my circuits, cut my nerve endings, and crossed my wires. You murdered me, Mommy. You left me here to take the rap. So this, this is uh, Artie showing that he is disappointed in his mother for, uh, for uh, he believes, leaving him and his uh, father. And he also uh, believes that his mom made him take the rap for killing himself because he believes that he died himself. And he believes that she made him do that. Yeah, that's also a good point. And, uh, but... I sort of think that he deserves some of that blame and guilt because I remember that specific panel. I don't remember what specific panel it was, but uh, at one point there was a picture of his mother coming in the room and asking, you know, do you still love me? And he was just kind of sitting there and not responding and just it made her feel bad and eventually led to her suicide. So while some of it might have been, you know, Vladik's blame, well, it could have been. It could have been Hutz as well. Uh, another example of this guilt is on page 159 in chapter 6 in uh, the fourth panel uh, Art says god damn you 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 murderer how the hell could you do such a thing and this is in response to learning that Vladik had burned all of Anja's uh, diaries and things from the war so so Art feels extreme like anger at Vladik because he burned all of uh, his mother's like memories. Like that was he saw those diaries as his mother and the last uh, footprint she had on Earth, and he and uh, Vladik ruined those by burning them. And I uh, I think that that's he's pretty justified in being really angry at his dad because you know he could have really used that in his story and brought that into the story about her suicide or just their story as a family in general, but also, I mean, Vladik talks about how he helped her through the years, so it's hard to, it's hard to decide who really gets the blame in this case. It's also hard for Art to understand the reasoning behind Vladik's burning the books, because he's not in the position of his father, and he really can't know the hardship that he went through in World War II, and what, like, mental trauma he's going through when he thinks about Anja and remembers the things that she had about him. So the author, Art Spiegelman, uses guilt and blame throughout Mouse to, I think it really gives a new perspective to their Holocaust story and the story of their specific family.